everybody, it's Alana again, and I'm here to try out yet another new product. Now, as you recall in a previous video, I was a little upset with my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse because it cracked and I looked like a broken, like the old porcelain on a porcelain doll. You know where you, got, you can see little marks, little fragmenting. But I remembered then later that I have this mist, illuminating mist and set spray. It's like a setting spray from e.l.f. I got this from their new kiosk, so this is a new product. I only paid like four bucks for it. That was it. And I'm going to see if it makes the liquid mousse last better. I just opened it up. It's kind of a cute bottle. I mean, for a bottle. So we're going to start and do my makeup like every other day. Except I've stopped putting my eyebrows on first because it's harder to work around them. Now, I loved the way this stuff covered initially. I loved it. So I was so disappointed by the end of the day. It's literally like 8 in the morning. I'm actually awake early, but it's grocery day and I've got a whole mess of things I have to do today. So I'm super busy. So this is the perfect time since the last time I wore this. I was super busy as well all day. So it just makes sense. I'm just double checking that it's securely over and underneath my eyes no creasing in the crease of my nose little extra over some blemishes and of course as per usual i'll check in a couple times in the day at least once aside from the end check-in so you can see what i'm doing and well how it's wearing more than anything there's that i've still got a little bit left over this time i did a couple extra pumps so that in case I mess up, I can reapply it properly. Once again, I reiterate that if you know of any products you want me to try out, especially drugstore products, because that seems to be where I'm at at the moment, drop a comment down below. I will see them. I see all the comments. Or you can leave a comment on my Facebook page. I check that all the time. Honestly, as I go throughout my day, Facebook is wide open. So if you want to leave a comment there for a product that you want me to try out, the page is Alana the Beauty Shop. Just look it up. The link, I think, is down below in the description box as well. Okay, the directions for this mist and set is spray on after makeup application to set makeup in place or for a quick touch up to refresh and illuminate after makeup application. Shake well and spray a light mist 12 to 6 inches from your face with eyes closed to set makeup. Dry naturally or blot with a tissue. I'm going to let it dry naturally, but this I'm actually quite proud of. I'd say my makeup game since I started being a YouTuber has gone up a thousand times. And it's only going to keep going up because I can still see areas where I'd like to fix it. Alright, so about this far. Now I'm going to let that dry naturally. So I don't see the point on blotting with a tissue because wouldn't that just take it back off along with layers of face, which is a horrifying concept. It'll take me a while to get used to that, that, that new layer. Now they had two different kinds. This one's the illuminating. The other one was like more of a mattifying. But you know me, I like shimmery, I like shiny. I really do like highlighty. So the option to illuminate was something that really kind of stood out for me. I like that idea. Maybe this will keep my eyebrows from running too whenever it like snows and stuff because it's snowy outside. <sighs> so now I have a fresh face. I'm in literally just jeans and two shirts because it is cold outside. I'm covered in makeup but that's expected. And I'm going to go about doing my chores and my errands, and I will catch in with you in a few hours. All right, everybody, time for an update. It is 3 p.m. I did this makeup at about 8.30, and actually, it's not breaking up. It, um, it's been seven hours. I'm pretty pleased with the overall look of it. It's not breaking up. I decided to, to do my videos because I noticed my previous video when I did this foundation, it was the lighting after the first one was questionable because it was darker, because it was nighttime, or, or I was just in a different room. I'm going to try to keep things consistent from now on. 
I apologize for that. But this time, it hasn't, it's not chipping away. I noticed my eye flinched the moment I went to almost touch it. It's not chipping away underneath where I had big trouble areas. That's a good thing. I'm pretty pleased with that. However, I'm still a little upset that the foundation requires a setting spray. My personal opinion would be that it should be able to do what it's supposed to do without the aid of such a thing. I'm going to continue doing my day. I did my grocery shopping. I've been doing work. I've been playing some DDO. I'm going to keep going throughout my day and we'll see how it looks. I did smudge my eyebrow earlier so it's not perfect. The setting spray is not perfect and it sure does give me a shine to my face. So if you don't like to have a very shiny face, avoid the illuminating one. Go with the one that's more mattifying. But I wanted something that would give me this like glow look. And it does almost borderline sweaty. Almost. But I get that that's going to happen. Alright, I'll catch you with you in a little bit. Alright everybody, it is the end of the day. It is 8pm. The kids are down. I'm getting ready to wash my face off and just veg. I feel like it looks like it's greasy at this point, but it's actually not. But for the most part, it's really not. It looks pancakey, but it's not. I would give this setting spray a 10 out of 10 because it kept the foundation that would not stay on my face, kept it on my face. I'm pretty pleased with that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off using, if you remember from a previous video, the Yes to Tomatoes wipes. We're just going to do a little cheek bit to see how easy it is to remove. So we're just going to, because if this stuff works too good, it won't come off so easily. Well, that actually came off really easy. As you can see, you can see that I've got real cheek under there now. I would definitely say, yeah, go ahead, get this setting spray. It's four dollars. You can't go wrong. It did an amazing job. I'm going to be using it more. That just made a foundation that I figured was completely unusable, very usable. All right, everybody, if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and show me that you love me. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below and make that bell ring loud and proud so you know when I post because I post weekly right now. Bye, see, I love you, always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let anyone get you down. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. And remember, do it with passion or not at all.